Hey everybody, this is Tanya Lux, Product Marketing Manager for Corel Painter. And now I'm going to work on another image that Scott Kelby offered to me during our live webcast. And this particular image, once again, it, it's not perfect. He didn't edit it. So I'm going to open up from the window menu here. Let's go to our photo art palette layout. And this is going to help me along just a little bit. So I'm going to go to underpainting and I'm going to choose to lighten this a little bit. Maybe adjust the value, just um, a touch, increase the contrast. And I think this should probably work well for what I'm going to try to do. What I'm trying to accomplish here next is to turn this into kind of a sketched version of the scene so that it looks like I hand sketched this. And in order to do this, I'm going to use the new type of media in 2017 called dab stencils. So let's select the dab stencils. You've got different types to work with, things like um, chalk and oil, and then we see flow map, paper, textures. So what this means is that I can actually paint from a flow map, which is also a paper texture. We originally created it to be used with watercolor. Now you can use it with other media types, um, our standard paper textures. And then textures, the texture stencil means that you can use any image that you want to paint from. So let's choose the hard pastel. And I'm going to go ahead and in the top right hand corner here, our advanced property bar, let's open up the dab stencil panel and here we have it so let's bring this over here and you can still see the image there so what I would like to do there's a whole library of textures that you can work with but you can also import your own or you can capture your own so let's capture this image I'm going to select all that's command or control a and I'm going to capture it as a texture now let's go ahead and save this and it will update and show me the preview of the image that I just adjusted that's my new texture and I'm gonna hit delete to clear it off the canvas and at this point in time I'm going to grab my paint bucket maybe get a nice you know kind of subtle blue color and I'm gonna drop this in now I wanted to show you this because by default painter will fill with the source image and you might be thinking, what the heck is going on? So I'm going to switch this. You can choose from a color, a gradient, the source image, or weaves. If we switch back to color and we drop this in, now I've got my canvas filled with color. I'm going to add a new layer. And at this point in time, we're going to use this hard pastel. So if we grab the brush tool again, what's going to happen is it'll allow me to paint with this texture and you can toggle the texture on and off. Um, this is much like, you know, if you're showing a clone source. There's no photo on the canvas, but you can use it to paint from. So let's turn that off and let's close this down. And I'm going to choose, um, instead of the super dark paper texture, I'm going to choose maybe a little bit lighter, more textury kind of texture. So now when I come out and I begin to paint, we can see I've got my Wacom Intuos Pro tablet here, which allows me to adjust my pressure just based on how hard or how soft I press on the tablet. But what's great about this is that I said I was going to do a pencil sketch, but you know, this is actually a pastel drawing. So I can easily bring this image in, in, you know, a very hard textured type of media within a matter of minutes. It's super easy to do. Okay, let's see. That, that's looking pretty good here. So I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to come back up and maybe choose a texture that's got a little bit more tooth to it because I want to show you what's going to happen here. Let's go with coarse cotton. Now, because that coarse cotton is a much denser type of paper texture, it's going to bring that image in in a harsher manner. So I do suggest you go with, you know, the lighter paper textures when you're trying to use this method that I'm showing you here. All right, so let's come back and let's maybe take a look down here at some of the other textures. I'm going to try this one right here and we'll come down. And this one's nice. See, it's bringing in a little bit, lets me bring in a little bit more of the mountain range there. All right, so maybe I'll come down here. All right, let's add another layer. And maybe now I'm going to come back up and grab the Italian watercolor. 
and I'm going to bring in down on the bottom here that um, the canoes, a little bit of this texture, there was a canoe in the water there. Now when I'm coming over to the, um, the actual water that was within the photo itself, there wasn't a whole lot of dimension in the original image. So let's say that we, we do want some water down here. Um, we can do that by importing in our own image. So I'm going to go ahead and import a texture and use this glistening water photo. And what you're going to see here when I choose to show the texture, it doesn't suit the dimensions of the canvas. And you can either choose to make sure that the image you're bringing in is the same size resolution or we can transform it. So for our purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and transform the texture and I can move this around. We'll bring this down here. So now we have some nice glistening water that we can take advantage of. Maybe move that down right about there. And when I'm ready, I can commit that texture to that size and, and scale. And now I can come back and get back to the business of painting. So here we go. Okay, so we'll just bring in some glistening water got a lot more dimension than what we had to work with to begin with. Bring in some down here. And once again, you could switch paper texture to bring in more or less of, you know, the photo that you are working with. So there you go. That is a quick and easy way to create a hand sketched or pastel kind of look from a photograph using the new dab stencils and textures.